it's a threat to uh, one of the most uh, vital maritime choke points in the world that links Europe and Asia. That is the you know the southern entry to the uh, to the Suez Canal and so on. So this is a threat not just to the U.S. It's a threat to Europe. It's a threat to Asia. It's a threat to China. <laughs> Shipping companies have two choices. Uh, choice number one is to go through the, the Suez Canal and the Red Sea and trust or rely on the protection of the maritime task force that the U.S. has assembled. But it has already emerged as very clear that doing that adds to insurance costs. Since January 1st, there have been about 10 to 15 changes in the provision of insurance uh, related to uh shipping going through the Red Sea. Option number two is to avoid the Red Sea and the Suez Canal route all uh, the way and instead go around Africa, around southern Africa through the Cape of Good Hope. That adds significantly to shipping costs, to personnel costs, to fuel costs. It's not good for the environment. Um, and uh, it, it just complicates supply chains. What I'm seeing shipping companies and, and experts in maritime shipping clearly say is that, yes, it will create upward pressures on, on food prices, energy prices in a context where we're already, uh, most of us, uh, still in the, in the, in the fight, a, a fight we're winning, but in an ongoing fight against inflation. There are lots of things that are disrupting trade right now. We, we have... The United States and Europe putting sanctions on every everything that moves almost, and, and those sanctions disrupt trade and trade routes and, and increase the cost. Now, that's not only because of the war in the Middle East, but also the, the, the Russian-Ukrainian conflict. have been hitting ships uh, in the Red Sea for about six years, um, seven years. This is a threat that existed before Gaza, and it is a threat that will still exist after. The Houthi threat to the Red Sea will not disappear. The Red Sea is now a war zone. If you want to go into the Red Sea, lots of luck. You're taking your life in your own hands. There, there's a big risk. And, and if you Look at the bulletins being put out by the insurance companies that are involved in that region. They're very explicit. These are extraordinary risk elevations that have taken place recently, and they see them as continuing for the foreseeable future. It's going to get worse, not better.